Next on this list is the central Mexican city of Pachuca in the state of Hidalgo. You don't hear much about Pachuca, neither from expats nor from Mexicans. There aren't many things in Pachuca that people totally rave about. However, it could still be a very, very comfortable place to live. And if you're on a smaller budget, well, then you could live a very high quality of life here. It is located at about 8,000 feet above sea level, so the altitude may take a week for you to get adjusted to. However, it is very affordable. When we look at real estate options, you're going to see just how affordable it is. On a $1,000 a month budget, you're probably going to be able to go out and have a fine dining experience at least like once a week, in addition to enjoying many other normal things in your everyday life. It has a population of about 300,000 people, so it's big enough that you have all those conveniences of a big city. It has nice grocery stores modern shopping malls, Sam's Club, Walmart, Home Depot, all those stores that you might need to do some shopping at to make your life a little bit more convenient. So that's really great. And something I love about Pachuca is considering its elevation and its latitude, that means you get great climate year round. The coldest months of the year, you're looking at average highs of 68 and the hottest months of the year, average highs of 78. So amazing temperatures year round. And although Pachuca isn't a place that a lot of people rave about, nearby there's a lot of cool things to see. You drive up the mountains a little bit and you get to these Pueblos Magicos or what in English translates to magic towns. And there are these historic mining towns that have so much history and cool things to see and awesome architecture, super cool places to check out. They make a great weekend getaway or heck, even a place to live. That's something else you could look into. But also in addition to that, there's other cool places to see in for example, Grutas de Tolantongo. It's these natural hot springs built on the side of cliffs overlooking these ravines. In the same place, you have this super blue natural river going through there that's naturally heated by the hot springs as well. And in addition to that, you have these Grutas, which are like these hot springs within caves. It's an incredible experience, definitely worth checking out. And if you're on a budget like $1,000 a month, well, then Pachuca is definitely a place you can consider. So now let's go check out some real estate options in Pachuca. Casas and Renta Pachuca Hidalgo. Okay, and then we're going to click on the Mobile 24 listing. It's the very top one here. And Again, this isn't the best website for this kind of budget, but let's check out the first listing here. So this is going to be just over $500 a month. You're looking at about uh, 1,500 or 600 square feet, uh, two, two and a half bedrooms, or I'm sorry, two and a half bathrooms, three bedrooms. Let's look at some pictures. I mean, you look pretty decent for just over $500. I don't mind it. Okay, let's see what else there is. Okay, here's one for 4,000 pesos a month. Uh, so that's going to be a little over $200, but they're also asking for a 350 peso monthly maintenance fee or what we call an HOA fee. This one is about 650 square feet. Um, it has two bedrooms, one bathroom. But again, it's only $200 a month or so. I mean, for that price, this seems like a decent little option. But anyway, let's let's switch this over. And instead of looking at places for rent, let's switch this to places for purchase. Okay, so here's one for about 75,000 US dollars, 1,400,000 pesos. It has various sizes and it's showing the whole uh, community here. So this is the very cookie cutter style. When they make these, the units are generally fairly nice looking and they range usually from like one bedroom to three bedrooms. Maybe uh, some have a terrace. So that's going to be the price range there. So uh, this says 880,000 pesos. So that's probably where it starts or about 45,000 US dollars. Let's take a look at the pictures here. So you share some workout equipment, a soccer field, a basketball court with the community. It's in a gated community. And then this usually comes with a small maintenance fee as well. In a place like this, it's probably going to be $25 a month or less for the HOA fee. Let's see what else there is. So lots of options in the $100,000 range for purchase. Here's one, uh, it's about $80,000. So this one is about 1,600 square feet. It has three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. It even has a rooftop. This looks like it's pre-sale. These are concept photos. Again, pre-sale comes with more risk, but you can also get a better price. I'm gonna see if we can uh, go to a lower price, up to a million pesos. So up to about $50,000. Okay, so here's this place. It's 64 square meters. It's an apartment in a gated community, but it's only $35,000. Uh, it has a monthly maintenance fee of 500 pesos or about $27 a month for the HOA. But at $35,000, it's small. It's only about 700 square feet, but it says it's a two bedroom, one bath. And I kind of like the looks of this. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I actually, I'm actually surprised at how nice this kitchen is with that huge refrigerator. You have an oven there, a microwave, this stove top there. I actually really like this. I, I like the kitchen table setup they have. Yeah, I mean, look, if, if you're coming to Mexico and like, let's say you're selling your home in the US and you only have to put down $35,000 to buy a home here, well then your money could go a lot further. Maybe you thought your budget was gonna be $1,000 a month, but actually you're gonna have a whole bunch of money left over to put into some investments, paying you dividends, and maybe you up your monthly budget because you're not spending much on a home. So something like that could be a great option. Let's see what else there is for under $50,000. Okay, here's one, it's, it's a little bit bigger. So this one's like 1,100, 1,200 square feet, something in there. It's about $50,000. Let's look at the pictures. So you're getting a little bit more space than the last one. It's, it's not like an apartment, you're actually getting a home here, your own home. Yeah, I kind of like it. $50,000 doesn't seem too bad for this. Like I was saying, your, your money's gonna go really far in Pachuca. But anyway, let's head over to Facebook Marketplace and see what cheap rentals are available. Okay, so we're just gonna switch this to, switch the location to Pachuca, Hidalgo. We'll go Centro. Should we change this? Uh, no, I'm gonna keep it at 10 kilometers here. Okay, um, then we're gonna go Casas and Renta. Homes for sale, I mean homes for rent. Let's get the minimum at 2,000 and then I'm not gonna put in a maximum here. So I'm seeing a lot of these listings that look the same for like 5,000 pesos that are all very similar. Let's just click on one of them. I'm guessing they're all listed by the same person or the same company. So what are we looking at here? A little over $250 a month, uh, partially furnished. It has a back patio, two bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, 5,000 pesos a month. I, I like the looks of it from the outside. I think that looks great. You have a little backyard if you have dogs. Uh, I don't love how it's furnished it. With this kitchen table here, it almost looks like as if it's furnished for an office setup. But anyway, if you're renting it and you don't want the furniture, you can almost always ask them to remove the furniture and there's not going to be a problem with that. I don't mind this place for about $250 a month. Seems all right. 
But as you can see here, you have so many cheap options to choose from. And if you spend a few hours going through these instead of a few minutes, I'm sure you'd find some awesome options. Let's check out one that's a little bit more expensive. 8,500 or about $450 a month. So it's three bedroom, two bathroom. It doesn't say how big it is. That's one of the things about uh, working on Facebook Marketplace. A lot of times you have limited information and here like not very well lit photos, but not well lit photos can actually get you a great deal on a lot of rentals. But that's how I found one awesome rental here in Quebec. It didn't look that nice from the photos, but I went and looked and it was incredible. So there's that. A nice big spacious kitchen here. I really like that. But yeah, it seems, seems like a decent option for $450 a month. 